Hello everyone and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. As Tom King persisted in torturing Belle Dingle, a new character on Emmerdale vowed to expose him on the ITV soap opera in the most recent episode. On Wednesday night, a different character revealed that they were supporting Belle before Nicola King appeared to discover the abuser's true identity. After Belle was caught violating her release terms, D.S. Foy made an appeal to her, warning her to exercise caution or risk going to jail. After Tom was attacked and nearly killed, D.S. Foy made his first trip to the village. Belle first denied knowing anything about it, but she later turned herself into the police and admitted using an axe to attack Tom. She acknowledged that it was in self-defense before acknowledging that Tom had abused her at home. For months, Tom had been isolating her from her loved ones, manipulating her, and using coercion to dominate her. After Belle left him, Tom became angry and started to spy on her, harass her, and pretend that she was suffering a breakdown. She attacked him after he tried to kill her in a recent episode while holding her against her will. Since then, Belle has struggled to deal with the devastating loss of her father, Zack Dingle, and the fact that she faces jail time for the attack. Tom is using Belle's deteriorating mental state to manipulate her and convince her that her abuse claims were unfounded. Tom quickly got in touch with Foy and had her questioned after Belle violated her bail terms this week and confronted him. She confessed what had transpired and expressed her concerns that Tom would get away with it all when she was placed under police custody on Wednesday. D.S. Foy then defended Belle and begged for her forgiveness, acknowledging that he did believe her. Foy informed Belle that he believed what she had told them about Tom and the assault, and he trusted what she was saying. Foy asked Belle to exercise caution because they are still unable to locate the lost iPad that could provide evidence of some of Tom's actions and that he is hiding something because he is not aware that Tom destroyed it. He advised her to reconsider coming near her ex because doing so might land her in jail that he threatened to put her in jail if she violated her terms once again. He went on to say that they would be forced to arrest her if it were established that she was mentally competent. Later moments showed that Belle was obviously in distress, raising questions about her well-being, but Foy assured Belle that he trusted her. Is this the time that Tom's demise will finally come, given Foy's desire to bring Tom down and secure justice for Belle? In Monday's episode of Emmerdale, Tom King made a mistake that viewers quickly pointed out, as the unscrupulous vet went to great pains to hide his evil behavior against Belle Dingle. Belle, played by Eden Taylor Draper, turned herself into the police just last week after using an axe to defend herself against Tom, played by James Chase.by offering to keep silent about her being the attacker and even fabricating a story for the police about two unidentified males being his attackers, Tom had tried to pressure Belle into taking back her accusations of abuse against him. In a shocking change of events, though, Belle bravely chose to come clean and expose Tom for his domestic abuse after being discharged from the hospital, Tom was called in for interrogation, where he lied to get through the interview. As Tom confessed to his lawyer that he had multiple cameras installed at his marital residence and that there was still footage on one tablet, which had a zombie case and was regularly used by his young cousin Carl, that the police wouldn't think to search for, it quickly became clear that he was concerned about a piece of damning evidence. Tom didn't realize that Isaac Dingle had taken the tablet from Carl so he could play a game on it. Moira Dingle, however, acted quickly after spotting downloaded information that verified Bell had been the subject of several cameras and surveillance Moira was about to give Bell a medication when she was interrupted by a seizure brought on by her recent diagnosis of a brain tumor. According to Leeds Live, she woke up having forgotten why she needed to contact Bell. In the episode that aired Monday night, Tom was anxious to obtain the incriminating evidence. Even though Moira's son Maddie Barton nearly caught him, he managed to slip into Butler's and locate the tablet. Carl watched in secret as he destroyed the device at the end of the episode. Viewers of Emmerdale criticized Tom's mistake on Twitter, pointing out a easily found piece of evidence that could prove his guilt. They proposed that the police would have easy access to the files, which would probably be kept on the cloud. He didn't delete the evidence, one viewer wrote in a tweet. That's easily accessible on the cloud. Another person inquired, are they aware of cloud services? Google Photos, for example? Has Tom not heard of the cloud? Asked a third. One fan added, this whole tablet thing, how many tablets can save hours and hours of video without it being in the cloud? Another fan commented, the evidence will be on the cloud. 
Anyone want to tell Tom everything's probs still on the cloud? Another viewer said. Bell Dingle's happiness in Emmerdale is all we want. Tom King, Bell's husband, has been abusing her physically and psychologically for the past year. She thought she had killed the nasty man when she used an axe to assault him in self-defense a few weeks ago. After surviving this, Tom was taken into custody for mistreating Bell. Bell feels completely helpless because Tom has not yet been held accountable by the police for his conduct, despite having destroyed evidence that showed he had been observing his wife. Kane's announcement that their father, Zach, had passed away at the beginning of this week further exacerbated Bell's predicament. The family continued to worry about how everything was affecting Bell as they gathered for his funeral in tonight's episode. Charity was intrigued when Bell abruptly left the area around Zach's burial and went inside her house. Bell talked on how everything was wrong while she was looking for something. Charity initially believed that Bell was overwhelmed by her sister Tina's return, but she later verified her true intentions by taking a little pot out of a cabinet, the rest of her mother Lisa's ashes were in the pot. In a fit of rage last year, Tom shattered the urn that had once held her ashes. Bell retuned to the grave and scattered the remaining quantity on top of her father's coffin because she believed Lisa and Zack needed to be together. A poignant moment that should provide Bell some solace in the midst of so much stress and suffering. Emmerdale fans are no strangers to jaw-dropping drama, but Monday's episode left viewers buzzing on social media for one reason, Tom King's colossal blunder. The villainous vet, played by James Chase, took drastic measures to cover up his abuse toward Bell Dingle, Eden Taylor Draper, leading him to destroy key evidence. But did he really think he could get away with it? Fans certainly weren't buying it, pointing out a detail that could expose him in an instant. In a plot thick with deception, manipulation, and power plays, Tom's oversight regarding the cloud storage has turned him into the unwitting subject of a nationwide debate. Here's the lowdown on what happened, why fans are fuming, and how a single digital slip-up could be the undoing of Emmerdale's latest villain. Bell's Bold Stand Against Abuse To set the stage, Bell Dingle has been through an emotional ringer with Tom King. Just last week, her courage was on full display as she went to the police after a harrowing incident in which she was forced to defend herself with an axe. When Tom tried to twist her arm, attempting to manipulate Belle into recanting her abuse allegations, Belle surprised viewers with her resilience. Instead of falling for his lies, she turned herself in to protect her own integrity and ensure justice was served. But as anyone who's tuned in knows, Tom isn't one to back down, especially when his secrets are at stake. The Tablet Twist, How Evidence Came to Light Tom's fate was precariously balanced on a single piece of technology, a tablet innocently used by his young cousin, Carl. The tablet, complete with a zombie case, had inadvertently recorded damning evidence that revealed Tom's surveillance on Bell. But here's where things take a dramatic turn. Isaac Dingle, another of the Dingle clan, managed to swipe the tablet from Carl, oblivious to the Pandora's box it held. Moira Dingle was the first to catch a glimpse of the device's dark contents. She was all set to inform Belle, but a sudden seizure from her recent brain tumor diagnosis stole the moment, causing her to forget the whole ordeal. Tom's desperate move and the social media storm. When Monday night rolled around, Tom's desperation was palpable. Determined to destroy the evidence before it fell into the wrong hands, he sneaked into Butler's and searched for the tablet. Just when it seemed like he might be caught by Moira's son Maddie, he found the device and, with one swift motion, destroyed it. But his plan had one major flaw, and Emmerdale fans were quick to catch on. They took to Twitter, pointing out the obvious, in today's world, simply smashing a tablet doesn't erase digital evidence. This blunder, according to viewers, might be Tom's ultimate downfall. The cloud conundrum, fans weigh in. Social media lit up as fans dissected Tom's oversight with biting humor and frustration. Comments flooded in, with users pointing out that a mere broken tablet doesn't guarantee that the files are lost. He didn't delete the evidence. That can easily be found in the cloud, one user tweeted, while another chimed in, has Tom not heard of the cloud? And as others pointed out, this isn't a minor oversight. In today's world, cloud storage systems such as Google Photos and iCloud automatically back up files, making it nearly impossible to fully erase anything without a thorough digital cleanup. By destroying the device but leaving potential backups intact, Tom may have unwittingly handed over the keys to his own ruin. Emmerdale's Cloud Critique, A Glaring Plot Hole? 
While Emmerdale writers are no strangers to high-stakes drama, fans were quick to highlight that the cloud storage oversight seemed like a glaring plot hole. With viewers now wondering if the police will access these cloud backups, the potential fallout could be enormous. What's even more intriguing is the speculation over whether Tom's destruction of the tablet is just the beginning of his demise. If authorities manage to access the cloud stored data, Tom might find himself in an even more incriminating position, with no tablet to prove his side of the story. Why Tom King's blunder could change everything Beyond the surface-level drama, Tom's mistake has opened up broader questions about how digital footprints play a role in modern storytelling. With cloud storage now a fundamental part of life, it's harder than ever for characters, or real-life villains, to erase their misdeeds. In the world of soap operas, where every twist is carefully planned, Tom's blunder serves as a fascinating case study in the limits of deception in a hyperconnected world. As for what lies ahead, Emmerdale fans can expect more heart-stopping moments as Tom's cover-up starts to unravel. Whether or not the police, or Belle herself, discover the cloud-stored files, Tom's journey may soon face a dramatic twist. Will Tom be exposed? The Emmerdale community has spoken, and their message is clear, Tom King's oversight could very well be his undoing. In an era where even villains need to stay tech-savvy, this slip-up could be the critical piece that leads to justice for Belle Dingle. So, was Tom King's scheme doomed from the start? Only time, and perhaps the cloud, will tell. Brace yourselves, Emmerdale fans, because if Tom's digital trail is uncovered, this might just be the beginning of his dramatic downfall. Stay tuned for what promises to be an explosive unraveling of one of the show's most twisted characters yet. Briefly recap Belle Dingle's recent hardships, her abusive marriage to Tom King, and her struggles following her father Zach's passing. Set the emotional tone of the article, Belle Dingle has been through a whirlwind of pain and sorrow, and fans can't help but wish for one thing, her happiness. In Emmerdale, we've seen Belle transform from a resilient fighter to a broken spirit, battling the remnants of her traumatic past. But is there hope for a brighter future? Chapter 1, A Brief Background of Belle Dingle's Life in Emmerdale Overview of Belle's journey as a character in Emmerdale, covering her early struggles, family relationships, and complex personality. Outline her past relationships, hardships, and what led to her relationship with Tom King. Chapter 2, The Tragic Love Story, Belle and Tom King Deep dive into Belle and Tom's relationship, highlighting the moments when things seemed promising. Details about the transition from love to abuse, showcasing how Tom slowly revealed his controlling and abusive nature. Discuss Tom's abusive tactics, emotional manipulation, control, and eventual physical abuse. Chapter 3, The Axe Incident, Belle's Breaking Point Retell the shocking moment when Belle, in self-defense, struck Tom with an axe, thinking she had killed him. Explain the immediate aftermath and Belle's internal conflict, her shock, fear, and guilt. Describe Tom's survival, his arrest, and the lack of justice due to his erasure of crucial evidence. Chapter 4, No Justice for Belle, A Broken System and a Heartbroken Soul Expand on Belle's heartbreak as Tom escaped punishment, emphasizing how this affected her mental health. Explore the themes of injustice and the pain of being dismissed by the legal system, which could resonate with readers who've experienced similar situations. Chapter 5, Zack Dingle's Passing, Belle's World Shatters Describe the scene when Kane informs Belle of Zack's passing, adding emphasis to her anguish at losing her father. Emphasize the emotional toll Zack's death has had on Belle and her inability to process her grief due to Tom's abuse and the family's unrelenting worries. Chapter 6, The Funeral, One Last Goodbye A detailed retelling of Zack Dingle's funeral, a moment heavy with sadness and memories. Describe the family's worry for Belle, who appears lost in her grief and desperation for closure. Chapter 7, The Search for Comfort, The Heartfelt Scene with Lisa's Ashes Describe the emotional moment Belle retreats home and reveals her intent to scatter her mother Lisa's ashes with her father's. Highlight Belle's powerful resolve to bring her parents together as a final act of closure. Chapter 8, A Glimmer of Peace, What This Means for Belle Moving Forward Reflect on how Belle's act of scattering the ashes represents a glimmer of peace, allowing her to process her grief. Question whether this moment will help her begin to heal from the traumas and tragedies she's endured. Chapter 9, What Does the Future Hold? Will Belle Find Happiness? 
speculate on the potential storyline arcs for Belle, inviting readers to imagine how Belle might heal and find peace. Propose possible love interests, friendship arcs, or career achievements that could offer Belle a chance at happiness. Chapter 10 Why Viewers Are Rooting for Belle Dingle More Than Ever An exploration of why fans resonate deeply with Belle's journey and pain. Discuss her relatability, resilience, and the universal wish to see someone triumph over darkness. Each chapter can explore Belle's story with heartwarming and tragic moments, hypothetical future scenarios, fan reactions, and narrative analysis. The article could be split into multiple parts or released over time, each one capturing a unique aspect of her journey. After more than 20 years on screen, Charlotte Bellamy, who has become an Emmerdale classic as Laurel Thomas, talks about her experiences with the adored ITV soap opera. Since her 1997 EastEnders debut, she has played Laurel in some of the soap opera's most heartwarming plots. In an interview with Bella Magazine, Charlotte described how certain scenes in the show struck such a deep chord with viewers that they felt driven to share their own stories with her. The one with John regarding Ashley's dementia was very significant, she recalls. It was incredibly well received. About 17 years ago, I also worked on a caught death plot, which was really beautifully written and handled. It was hard-hitting and I was very proud to be part of that, Charlotte said, expressing her pride in her work and the impact it had on audiences. After seeing these scenes, viewers want to share their stories with you. It is always incredibly humble. Even if your impact is little, you feel like you're making a difference. Charlotte jokes that it would take something extreme for her to leave the Dales when discussing the possibility of doing so, I'd have to get killed by a bus in the village for them to get rid of me. She says, I absolutely love Emmerdale and I'm so grateful to be doing something that I love, demonstrating how deeply she loves the show. However, according to the Liverpool Echo, I believe I'll just go and run a coffee shop in the Dales if I ever do get killed off. The Emmerdale actress Charlotte Bellamy, who portrays Laurel Thomas, has spoken candidly about the weighty plots her character has been a part of. After being first presented as a humorous character, Laurel has since been the subject of other tragic plots, such as the poignant one in which she and Chris Bisson's character Jai Sharma learned they were having a child with Down syndrome. As a result, Laurel made the contentious decision to undergo an abortion, which generated hundreds of complaints. Charlotte disclosed in 2023 that she had previously proposed a plotline to the Emmerdale crew, but it had been rejected. The only story I've ever tried to pitch to the writers was years ago, when we were all working in the factory, she stated. I pitched a story about a group of women becoming addicted to gambling, which is actually really common. This concept was turned down, though, because it conflicted with the soap opera's recurring plots. Charlotte, the 2017 British Soap Award winner for Best Actress, has a quite quiet life away from the drama of Emmerdale. She has three children with Mungo Dennison, the director of the company, and two sons, Herbie and Sonny, as well as a daughter, Teddy. Charlotte Bellamy has become a household name thanks to her portrayal of Emmerdale's beloved character, Laurel Thomas. With over two decades on the ITV soap, Bellamy has not only made her mark on television but has also impacted the lives of countless fans. From touching storylines to moments of light-hearted humor, Charlotte's role as Laurel has allowed her to explore some of the most profound issues facing society today, helping to create moments that resonate with audiences on a personal level. In a recent interview with Bella Magazine, Charlotte opened up about her experiences, the challenges, and the overwhelming support from fans who connect with her character's journey. The Journey from EastEnders to Emmerdale Although Charlotte Bellamy made her acting debut on EastEnders back in 1997, her true home has always been Emmerdale. Since joining the Dales as Laurel Thomas, Charlotte has become an irreplaceable part of the show. Originally introduced as a character with a humorous bent, Laurel's journey quickly took on a more serious, emotional tone. Through it all, Charlotte has shown an extraordinary range and commitment to her craft, exploring deeply sensitive topics that have left a lasting impact on fans and on herself. Reflecting on impactful storylines, the dementia plotline with Ashley. One storyline that has truly stayed with Charlotte, and fans alike, was the heartbreaking dementia storyline involving her on-screen husband, Ashley, played by John Middleton. The story with Ashley's dementia had such a huge impact, Charlotte shared. It was amazingly received. 
This plot was more than just a story, it was a portrayal of the realities of living with and caring for someone with dementia, capturing the heartbreak and resilience required in such situations. Charlotte's performance resonated so strongly with fans that many reached out to share their personal experiences with her. Viewers see these scenes and then want to tell you their story, she said. That's always really humbling. You feel like you're making a difference, however small. Hard-hitting storylines, the caught death and abortion plot lines. Charlotte has also taken on some of Emmerdale's most challenging storylines, including a deeply emotional caught death storyline nearly two decades ago. This plot, though difficult to portray, was treated with immense sensitivity by the writers and resonated with audiences who had experienced similar tragedies. Reflecting on it, Charlotte said, it was hard-hitting, and I was very proud to be part of that. More recently, Laurel was involved in another powerful storyline, this time tackling the complex issue of abortion. Laurel and her partner, Jai Sharma, Chris Bisson, faced a heartbreaking decision when they learned that their unborn child would have Down syndrome. The storyline was met with both praise and controversy, with hundreds of viewers contacting the show to share their thoughts. Charlotte's portrayal of Laurel's struggle highlighted the nuanced and sensitive approach she brings to her roles, even when the content sparks a national conversation. Charlotte's only pitch, a rejected storyline idea.